All right, it's Chun Chan here, and for today's topic, we're gonna talk about the new books. What we call is the Secrets of Millionaire Real Estate Developer. So this book is for people if you are currently you are interested to step into and becoming a developer, or you currently is a developer, you can look up some advice from the author is Mark. So actually, for chapter one. They actually got about it's talk about the industry overview so actually they have eight secret of it so i spread it into two parts is today i talk about part one first sharing about four secrets and then the next day i will share about the other four so let's let's straight the point is first when you come into reading this book the chapter one is about the industry overview you about the real estate because when coming to real estate, you need to know that actually real estate development and real estate needs are not necessarily the same thing. Why you talk about that is maybe some of you will think about that actually is the great thing about real estate is no matter the market is good or bad, but currently the population of the human will already grows no matter which country you are, so which area you are, so the population will always keep growing up and then the people will always looking for place to live that is real estate so that real estate is very important important for everyone of us to have a shelter for us to do everything else just like when you want to go into the jungle the first thing you need to look at is going to find your shelter first the place to live first so the next is you're going to find your water supply your food everything else so everything first Gonna find your shelter first so when we come into real estate and a lot of the market condition of real estate is normally if you want to develop a residential for people to live to buy everything else mm, people and jobs drive real estate development needs but not necessarily real estate development which means that because when we talk about real estate development needs is you it depends on the developer itself you're gonna have a vision on it you're gonna know about what the customer consumer want and then you're gonna know the vision of developers and then you can stay at you as a developer and then what you think about what you dream about read about that's what the demonstrate report describe so when you talk about real estate development, next few many others needs and objective of the population. So there's some case that always happen is the real estate development often exceed the real estate needs. For example, is let's say is your area is population is about one thousand people want to buy a real estate, but they have five developer that go and build the one thousand unit, so that. The situation here is will become oversupply become 5,000 unit of the real estate but the person want to purchase only 1,000 people to one go opposite for, for this kind of example is oversupply so you're gonna know that you're gonna stay aware of this kind of happen because a lot of real estate developer will face this situation so that you a lot of market will overhang so that no people will go and buy the property so you want to skip about this situation or this mistake happen is first you're gonna know how to read your market so this is the secret of the millionaire estate in developer point is number one is gonna know how to read your market so by how to read your market it's very important for you to hold off for a while or stop building something because you're gonna do go and Redo and study the market because when you come about market, actually the market is more important than the property. So you're gonna have your preparation is when you want to successful in developer, you become a developer or real estate. First, you sure will losing money by paying too much for service. This you you're gonna face and then not figuring your sales price accurately. Or through any errors that cost you money is your tuition to success real estate development so this situation will always happen but 
all you need to know is in your life is like Stephen Stolen say life is not how hard you get hit is it life is not how hard you hit but it's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward so you can learn by your mistake and then go and move, move forward so always study the market first before you do anything else what the market you need to do so the next is the thing is you're gonna know is you're gonna how you're gonna know how to deal with difficult and unexpected situation because you're gonna know that it should will, problem will come no matter what you want to build is the commercial real estate or not or you want to build anything else residential so will you will face something else happen so when we talk about the real estate for commercial real estate is for you to do some business purpose is your current situation of the market that you need is for business purpose what we call it commercial real estate so a lot of developer will face the problem is oversupply for the market is not just about five developer but ten developer in the same area but oversupply the commercial real estate so that at that place no people want to do some business or anything else so it will get into overhang or so so no matter just about commercial real estate but the industrial real estate also will you have always facing some problem that nowadays like some people they don't need any more industrial for doing something because the market area that need warehouse indicate of the industrial so no matter commercial industrial or residential market you're gonna look at the market and then gonna study at that area then what the people at there they need so before you go and in build and then develop anything else because nowadays a lot of people they will prefer also what we call about the loft because this is more targeted for the people who want to like small business owner they just start and they want to own a house but at the same time they want to have some office so loft is very suitable for them to have two in one but it's always depend on the market also you need to know that because some people will go and modify the love become and then go and become an apartment or condominium so that they can rent out for other people so you talk about real estate you're gonna not just about sure you you want to make some profit and generate the cash flow but you, you also need to think about <coughs> you are the person who create the opportunity for people to have some job opportunity for others so you are getting value to the society so everything else from the outer before you start to develop something make sure you invest a year in research before committing as, as first real estate project a year which means that next is from the advice of the outer this outer actually is the developer also you need to do the study first before you go and build and you need to always know the market condition so that's the point that you always need to remember so number three is ultimately you must follow your own gut instinct because after you gain all the data all the market and then you study all you read all the report i sorry the input and then the report so you can believe in your instinct your gut instinct so you're gonna make your decision with full of knowledge everything else so always remember that the mistake of the author they make is it move too too quickly because when you come into race they actually when you move too quickly very dangerous also when actually when come into some political issue because um, you need to know that normally the this happen is during the election time because you you need to know that who are the key person who signing your project everything else so there's better a lot of people they will hold on first before they develop a new project during the election time because this will happen if something is that already you prepare everything else after that you cannot move anything so the fault is when you want to build something develop something you're gonna know that 
when you come into building let's say you want to build a area of some commercial road anything else you want to do some survey then point number four you need to know is the only those who oppose your development will show up at the community meeting so you set out a community meeting that you want to get the information for that area community how they think about it like what you want to build Usually the people who you sold up is they want to oppose you. So this because the people who like your project or they, they, they don't care about normally they are already accepted what you want to do. So the people who sold up to you, so you're gonna know how to handle with them and then you're gonna deal with them and then ask why they get the objection. So you're gonna solve them. And at this point you're gonna know and have some preparation in your mind so that you can go and face it. So not just about the objection about it, but you always need to be careful about the the people around you, your team member, no matter it's architect, contractor, lawyer, anything else, you're gonna choose the right people to help you to go and with it because a lot of developers will face the problem is the for example is architect often designed to satisfy the need on their own but not in the market need you need to know the, your market yourself and then your needs of your market community and budget is very important to your market not just about the design of the property actually you need to follow the market and then the lender no matter is you lend from investor or bank or anything else normally they are very happy to lend in order to get point and fees interest and then from the loan but they will not care about whether you under or over budget. This one you need to know by yourself and you can hire your accountant to go and do it, don't numbers. So the construction manager or general contractor also will eat into your profit. Sometimes the, they will face about the problem and then charging your invisible fee under the line in terms of general condition so that the contractor may not provide a proper line waiver or even pay to a subcontractor and then those subcontractors will not shown up in your job site may do the job and then not directed so this will happen so before that this happen you're going to choose the right people to help you to even though attorney also you need to very be careful because some attorney that they don't know about what they're talking about in the joining joining matter everything else so in your team always remember that you need to choose the right people to help you for example is the advice from Warren Buffett is when he is choosing the team member or the employee to work for him actually he is choosing the team member which means it's three point they always need to remember is the integrity intelligence and energy these three points you can look at for the people surround yourself when you want to build some project so this is for the first part of the chapter one of this book so hope you like it and then hope you can learn it and see you bye